The Tai Chi Man case, which is known as Taiwan's tax law February 28th incident, marked its 27th anniversary today, December 19th, 2023. Despite the final acquittal by the Supreme Court of Taiwan, this case remains unresolved. In a gesture aiming at highlighting and advocating for the significance of human rights, the Tai Chi Man Qigong Academy and the Action Alliance to address December 19th held a monument unveiling ceremony for the injustice side of Tai Chi Man December 19th incidents at the Swiss Mountain Villa. Nearly 20 experts from various fields jointly unveiled the monument, planting Taiwanese cypress and Araucaria heterophylla, signifying rebirth and hope. It's not just for Taiji Men Gong Academy only, it's also to manifest its commitment to justice for the entire society. It is worth cherishing ensuring that the mistakes of the past do not perpetuate in the posterity of our descendants. The monument bears inscriptions recounting Taiwan's history of persecution in taxation and human rights, like the displayed chronicles within the dilapidated building that reflect bygone years. The place was originally intended for the cultivation of both body and mind, as well as the transmission of cultural heritage among Taijuan Dizi. However, due to the Taijuan case, this site was forcefully sealed. Despite its return in 2020, it has turned into an unusable ruin. Professor Zhi Longchen said that this case is a fabricated case and should be rectified. The Tai Jimin case was also intricately entangled. It was disclosed by Xi Ye Sheng, the tax officer, that prosecutor Ho Kwan Rin was the one entangling Tai Jimin pulling it into the affair. Therefore, this is a case demanding rectification. In the scrutiny of a fabricated case, the issue of winning or losing is irrelevant. The sole resolution for a fabricated case lies in exoneration, in restoring the truth. Many unjust occurrences happen under the guise of justice. While we believe we are living in an era marked by democracy, the rule of law, and human rights, there are still profoundly infuriating or disheartening occurrences hidden in certain obscure corners. The Tai Chi Man case was categorized by the Control Yuan as a significant human rights violation. In 2007, the Supreme Court rendered a verdict of innocence and non-tax liability after three trials. In 2009, the victims received compensation for being wrongfully detained. This stirs attention from scholars and experts both domestically and internationally, prompting calls for the redress of such cases. In Taiwan, the question rises, can it liberate itself from lingering vestiges of authoritarian era and transform into a nation of freedom and human rights? This goal needs collaborative efforts between the people and the governments, realizing their rights bestowed upon us by the Constitution.